Hey guys, this is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com where you learn to code smarter. So let's get started. I want to cover last letter of a string function in this video. Okay, so how do we play around with the string so we can get its last letter? That's the function I want you to write. It should be very simple. You should be able to get it pretty fast. If you look at the tests below, if you use the last letter function, pass it hello, with exclamation mark, it should give you the exclamation mark. If you give it banana, it should give you an A because A in this case is the last letter. If you give it something with only one letter, it should return that letter. If you give it, again, funny guys, S, you get the idea. So let's code this bad boy up. Again, you do not deserve to view the solution if you haven't participated and try to do it on your own. This is, you gotta be part of actively learning, okay? I don't want you to be passively learning, like just sitting back, like eating some popcorn. I don't want you to do that, okay? While I do agree, this is kind of like Netflix for your career but I still want you to be actively learning, okay? It's like Netflix that you engage in and participate in, all right? So let's get to coding this bad boy up. Notes are below, solution notes are below, exercise problem is below, everything is there. Let's keep going. Define last letter. Okay, now what does it take in? It takes in some string. So you can literally call it some string if you want to, but we're just gonna call it string. What does it do then? Well, it's very simple. It returns the last letter. How do you return the last letter? If I opened up a terminal and showed you guys how this bad boy works, quite simple. If I have a string like hello, to get its second letter, I would do this to get its third letter, I'd do that. To get its first letter, I'd do this. But if I wanted to get its last letter, there's a trick in Python that you can do. Index by negative numbers. If I do negative two, this gives me the second to last letter, which means I'm gonna get the second L, okay? Hell, last L of the word hell. But if I want to get the last letter, well, I can just do this, right? This gives me the last letter. Now let's code this up, return string, and last letter, okay? As simple as that. Let's test our function and prove to ourselves that we are indeed correct, and it says your code is correct. Okay, that's it for this video. If you watched up to this point and you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now because you don't wanna miss the next videos. I will see you there. It didn't end. Let's try it again.